In today's video, we are going over how to become best friends with our clients and creating that lifetime value and lifetime relationship with our clients. So make sure you watch it all the way to the end for some little tips and tricks that are going to help you do this. Hey, it's Tom Jeffs here. I love dropping these sales nuggets to those heart-centered salespeople who want to help more people and ultimately grow their business. Check out today's video all about becoming best friends with your prospects. One of the first things that I ask a client when I start working with them is what's the lifetime value of your clients? And when I talk about lifetime value, it's the lifetime of that client that's going to be with you and what's the value to you. If it's a low lifetime value, then most likely the long-term relationship hasn't been set up properly. And the key to increasing lifetime value of a client is making sure that you have good client relationships from the beginning so that they want to stick around with you for a long time. So we're going to be talking about relationships quite a bit these days. Now, there are a couple ways of making sure that you have long-term relationships with your clients. The number one is obviously you need to be delivering your service and getting results for your clients. The second is always be identifying what the next step for that client might be in their journey to health and wellness. Maybe they're needing a new service. So now you have that opportunity to create another level of your program. So when prospects join your program, it's not just a one and done type of transaction, but there's actually a customer journey that takes them through for a long term. And when you're creating those relationships with those prospects and always delivering on what you promise, you're gonna have a client for life. In my many years of being an entrepreneur and having several different businesses, I've always had those clients that have been with me for a long time. I remember in my fitness business, I had a client for over 10 years and they were still with the new owners when the new owners bought my fitness business, which is a testament to delivering on a service and creating that relationship so that you're the only person in town that could actually help that person. Currently, we have a client that's been with us from the very beginning of starting our service. Every time that we have a conversation, it's like, what else can you do for us? So I'll go through the different problems that we're solving for other clients. And she might be like, yeah, that sounds like a really great option for me. Let's go ahead and try that out for my business. We're always adding to that client experience and that client journey because we're already so good at delivering a current service to them. In any business, there are three levers to increase your revenue. The first is to increase your rates. The second is to get more leads. And the third is to increase the spend of your current clients. And that third one is the easiest to do, especially if you're creating those relationships with your clients, understanding what their issues are, because the first issue that they have and the reason that they hired you in the first place is not always going to be the only issue that they have. Perhaps because you've solved that first issue, now it's creating another issue for them that you can help them solve as well. And now, because you have that great relationship with them, you are increasing your revenue by helping them solve more of the problems that they're getting. If you aren't keeping clients for the long term, and I'm guilty of this as well, there is an underlying cause to that problem. And the main reason is because you are not delivering on what you've promised. And I know this might be hard to hear, but you really need to look back at, did I actually over promise and under deliver? And that's why I keep churning through clients. Most likely that is the case. There's a couple ways to fix that. The first is to make sure you are setting realistic expectations during that sales conversation and you're not over promising and under delivering, but rather you're under promising and over delivering, making sure that that relationship stays alive and that client loves you for what you are doing for them. If you want to keep clients for the long term, make sure you are doing what you promise to do and over delivering to them. Let's think about the big picture of client relationships. I know a lot of practitioners have a telescopic view of, of clients or laser focused view of clients. And so it's, this is a problem. This is what I solve. And then I'm done. And that really is the first step. 
But really what we need to do is back up, look at the wide angle picture and see what else is going on with that client? How else can I create a deeper relationship with that client that is not only going to benefit them, but also is going to benefit me and my company as well? Rather than just narrowing down into one laser focused thing, but rather stepping back and seeing the forest for all the trees that are in there. It doesn't matter if you're doing business to consumer sales or business to business sales. At the end of the day, we are doing business with other people, other humans. And in any human interactions, we are creating a relationship. The first thing before going into that sales conversation is to have that long-term view of how can I create a relationship with this client and become a best friend forever. If you think about your best friends that you have for a long time, it's a different relationship from when you started to what it is today. It grew over time and maybe it grew organically. But in business, we have to think more strategically and how are we going to build that relationship and become a best friend forever with that prospect and with that ultimate client. I have put together a special training on how to have a great sales script and start that relationship with your prospects. So make sure you click that link down below and benefit from that free training that I put together for you.